Hey, how's everybody doing today? Um, been meaning to do this for a while. Um, I found a pick guard, a loaded pick guard on eBay a couple of months ago um, from Rockin' R Guitars. Um, it looks like a it looks like a pretty decent set of picks. Um, it's got Alnico 5 magnets. Um, they've got the resistance written on there. We'll double check it to see. 6.49 on the bridge, 5.61 on the middle, and 5.56 on the neck, which is pretty classic Strat <coughs> resistance outputs. We'll see what kind of uh, inductance we've got on them. The... I'd say the most impressive thing is the wiring job. That's uh, that's quite an attention to detail. They've got uh, insulation on all the connections. Um, it's got a treble bleed circuit. It's got some nice orange drop capacitors on the tone circuit. Um, it's also got, I call it the Gilmore switch. Um, which activates the neck pickup in any position so that you can actually get these two pickups running simultaneously. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it sounds, what all the actual measurements are on it. I'm going to put it in this guitar for the time being. Uh, I'll certainly save this because it's the original set of pickups and pick guard. Um, this is a 99 Mexican Strat. Um, and I know a lot of people hate on these pickups um, because they've got ceramic magnets. I'm 99% sure it's got ceramic magnets. But ceramic magnets aren't necessarily bad. I, I realize a lot of cheap pickups use ceramic magnets, but that's because ceramic's a little bit stronger and they can reduce the number of winds on the coil and put a ceramic ma magnet on back to kind of compensate for the reduction in coil winds and keep the output about where it needs to be. The problem is it can make, it can make the output a little bit harsh if you strengthen the magnet without increasing the coils. A lot of really good pickups. I think the... Uh, Seymour Duncan Dimebucker uses ceramic magnets, but it's got a shitload of winds too. And the, the trick is to have a balance between the number of winds on the coil and the magnetism of the, of, of the magnets. Other things factor in as well, the, the shape of the coil, the size, the bulk, the shape of the magnets, all of that determines what your magnetic field looks like, which is going to determine how the how the pickup responds to the strings moving across. But don't don't buy into the hype that just because it's a ceramic magnet, it's a cheap pickup. That's that's really bullshit. Magnets do what magnets do. Um, and if the coil is matched to the size and the strength of the ceramic magnet, it's going to sound just fine. Uh, and I doubt that many people could tell a difference. So let's let's check these out and see what we've got before we pull it out of here. Ah. Uh. All right, so there's the neck pickup, 6.69K. Middle pickup, 6.69K. Bridge pickup, 6.67K. That's pretty much evenly, evenly matched. Let's look and see what the inductance is. Um, 3.74 on the bridge. That's 
fairly dark uh, for a single coil. I think that's probably a, a pretty nice, pretty nice pickup. Um, 3.48 on the middle and 3.46 on the neck. Those are those are evenly matched pickups, which there's there's absolutely none nothing wrong with that. Um, normally, if you've got pickups that are differing output, you want the strongest one in the bridge and to kind of stair step down. I think that's how most people would put pickups in a Strat. This one, they're all the same. The position, the location of the pickup also has a huge impact on how it sounds, which is why the bridge pickup sounds different than a neck, pick, neck pickup. Even if they're the exact same pickup, they're in different locations along the, the scale. And so that's gonna make a big difference in, in tone. So let's get this rockin' our guitars pickup, pick guard. <laughs> All right, make sure that neck pickup is off and that bridge pickup, 6.59K. Yeah, they've got 6.49, so pretty pretty damn close. Air temperature difference can have that big of an impact on, on the resistance of a, of a pickup. Let's go to the middle, 5.69. They listed 5.61, yep, real close. And the neck pickup, 5.55. They've got 5.56 listed, real, real close. Um, let's go back to the bridge. Let's go check the inductance, 2.07. That's honestly a little more in line with what I would expect from a single coil pickup. Um, it's not gonna be too bright and too harsh, but it's got the, the brightness that you would expect from a single coil. Um, 1.79 on the middle pickup and 1.79 on the neck pickup. Pretty, pretty standard single coil Strat specs. I suspect it's gonna be a little brighter than these were. And I'll try to do a AB comparison of the tone just to, just to see if we can tell a difference. It, it's kind of bullshit. You can't tell much listening to audio recorded on an iPhone and played back on an iPhone. Um, but I might be able to notice a difference here in the room. So we'll get this swapped out, come back and see what we think. All right, so before I tune it up and plug it in, I want to show you these. This is the pick guard that I pulled off of there. Um, they are ceramic magnets. Very interesting the way they did these. A lot of cheap ceramic magnets. So this is like a cheap Telecaster neck. Just has a, a ceramic magnet stuck on the back of the poles. And that's where the poles get their magnetism from. These have double ceramic bars on the either side of poles that go extrude from the bottom of the pickup. Really, I, I'm not sure I've seen any like that before, but I think it's kind of cool. And like I said, I, I think they sound great. Um, I don't have any complaints with these pickups or this pick guard. It's got a nice... Uh, mechanical five-way switch. It's got full-size pots, 250k pots. There's there's absolutely nothing wrong 
with these pickups in this pit guard. I just wanted to try these out, see what I thought. Um, I'll save those so I can put them back in the guitar at some point if I want to. These have staggered pull pieces as well that had staggered pull pieces. Um, those, these have the bevel on the edge. I think those had a little bit more of a pronounced bevel on the edge, but this, this still has a bevel. Let's get her tuned up and plugged in and see what we come up with. say these are definitely not as high output doesn't seem like they're as high output as those were um, they're brighter especially in that bridge position it's noticeably noticeably brighter um, here's the benefit of the Gilmore switch and flip that on add the neck to the bridge position get a pretty nice warm tone that you can't get otherwise I mean I, I usually if I'm playing a Strat I'm in position for I like these two pickups together especially this is reverse wound reverse polarity so is the other one it kills your noise kind of creates a humbucker configuration uh, because of the way these are wound <clears throat> I had a guy Come in last week, brought a guitar in. He thought something was wrong with his switch. He had plugged into a high gain amp for the first time and put it in position one and just had a horrible buzz. And it, it, there was nothing wrong with the guitar. Uh, he had just never been plugged into anything that high of a gain with the single coil pickup. And so I explained to him how, uh, let's see here. So that's the difference between being set on a high gain setting, the difference between single coil and bridge and, and neck. And I showed him what he really needs is a noise gate. Because a noise gate is going to cut at the majority of that. And, it, and if, you're playing, if you're playing a single coil high gain, just almost have to have a noise gate. Um, this one is probably the cheapest one you could possibly buy. It's a Behringer, little plastic housing, um, 25 bucks on Sweetwater, but it does the trick um, and it worked for demonstrating to him. I think Boss makes a nice one for about $120. Um, if you're playing out and need something durable, that's probably the way to go. If you're playing in your living room and need something to do the job, the, the Behringer probably works just fine. Anyway, let me know if you could hear a difference between these. What's been your experience with ceramic pickups? I uh, This sounds more like I think a Strat's supposed to sound, but I really like the warmth of those pickups that I pulled out of here. 
Um, I certainly wouldn't throw them away. Wouldn't want to do away with them because they've got they've got a pretty unique tone for single coil pickups. Hope everybody's having a good day. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I appreciate you guys. Bye bye.